that is way too loud. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and of course, my headphones are blaring. Um, <laughs> hey, what's up, Fugitive? Thanks for hanging out. Um, welcome to Throwback Thursday. This is the show where we play an old game. Um, I'm still sick, as we could probably already tell. But today we are playing, oh God, Barbie's Horse Adventures Wild Horse Rescue. Yes, um, it was released back in 2003. The developers, as far as I could find, were Blitz Games, Rockstar Lead, Rockstar Leads, who are the creators. Rockstar is the studio that created um, Grand Theft Auto, um, so it's one of their sister studios. In Jumpstart Games, the publisher was Vivendi, and it, the version that we're playing is on the PlayStation 2. Um, I've already kind of like jumped into it a little bit, like I've already got a little, a little bit farther. Um, just to kind of make sure it worked and we are emulating the game. So um, <laughs> Hopefully it all works correctly. Um, I did notice a bit of slowdown. So if something gets weird, please let me know um, I'll probably notice as well Let's go ahead and jump into it and hopefully nothing breaks uh, New outfits back at the stable dressing room. Okay, that's kind of loud, isn't it? Uh, let's see if we can take that down just a pig just a just a little bit Oh, that's already kind of down far. All right, well, hopefully that sounds okay. <laughs> all right, let's go, Barbie. So what we're doing is we're trying to rescue all of the horses. Is it really, cra is it my crackly or is the game audio crackly? What a pretty river indeed. Game audio. Yeah, I think the emulation isn't perfect. Hey, actual Superboy, thanks for hanging out. Um, because we are emulating it, so it may sound a little bit crackly. Um, let's see. Ooh, <laughs> that wasn't good. Um, let's see if there's something we can do about that. Do, 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 do. And of course, I looked up, like, what are the best settings to emulate this game? And, you know, it turns out not a lot of people are really, like, <clears throat> playing this, so it's a, it's a gosh darn shame. Um, I'm going to take the audio down just even more. I know it sounds crackly, and I'm sorry. There just really isn't anything I can do about that. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. Come on, Barbie. Got to save these horses. We sa I saved it before the stream. I saved a full... Um, and by saving an aid, I tied it to a pole, and hopefully someone's going back for it. They didn't really explain what happens to the foal, except for that you just got it. So, I don't know. Oh boy. Look, there's a foal in that field. Um, about as good as Red Dead Redemption 2. Wait, how did a horse get locked up? Did someone take your horse, Barbie? You know, Red Dead, Red Dead, and okay, I get off my horse. You can get off and on the horse, which is pretty cool. It's honestly more than I expected. Can we jump that at all? Can we, Barbie? Can you, can you not jump it? <laughs> oh, you can. Okay, you have to be like lined up perfectly with the prompt to open the door. Look at that blue bird. Will it move if I get close to it? <laughs> Sorry, horse, just chill. I need to get all of these things. It's very important. Who, maybe I'll unlock the secret ending or the secret horse mechanics. I didn't really look. I don't think they're, I guess, in proportion. Doesn't Barbie have, like, official, like booby proportions like she's got her measurements or whatever I don't know this is from this I'm remembering this from the toys that made us or whatever for Barbie um, that's not a that looks like a window but it's not a window it's just a block okay Final Fantasy 10 came out on this thing 
Hello, fool. This I'm gonna pat is you. So cute. A fool is a baby horse. <laughs> a fool is a baby horse. Thank you, Barbie. Let's go. Yeah, they're a bit broken. Oh. Okay, here's what I'm talking about. The horse just lays Hi, down, and then we just leave it for dead. You didn't tell her where the fool was, you just said that you found one and left it. Barbie, you fucking idiot. Alright, get on the horse. I also got to customize my horse, so you can choose the horse color. You can uh, change its mane, which I thought was cool. Yeah, get it. You can make it trot, you can make it run. Yeah, get that. Get the, oh, oh. You're gonna go forward? Come on, horse. <laughs> okay, horse. I just noticed that her shadow... So that's the thing, the horses all ran away, but for some reason... Oh, horsey. So the horses ran away because this lady owned them. I'm gonna be honest, the opening cutscene, I accidentally skipped it. And I didn't have the heart to go back. I wonder what's inside the chest. Barbie, you're just stealing people's I things. Whoa. What's inside. <laughs> Look, a clothing bonus. Hell yeah, I dude. An outfit at this table. The outfit choices were a little limited. I went with like a western theme for my Barbie because the other options were preppy and I was like, I'm not a preppy. I'm more of a country girl, if you know what I mean. I don't think I've ever actually ridden a horse. Maybe, maybe once. Maybe I rode a horse once. I don't Look, actually know. A porcupine. Oh, what happens if we touch we the porcupine? Stay out of its way. We'd better not touch the porcupine. It didn't really. Lose trust on our friendship meter. <laughs> Hello, porcupine. Be my friend. to time our run past the porcupine. Don't let the porcupine <laughs> touch us. <laughs> the fucking porcupine! <laughs> it's like a... <laughs> it's like a goddamn one of those things from Jurassic Park that opens the neck. Past We're past the porcupine, Barbie. The porcupine is gone. Okay, well... Come on, go, go, go. Okay, square button makes it run. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to run you into a wall. Ooh. There's a lens flare. That's kind of cool. Okay. Oh, Barbie. Go, horsey, go. What? Come on, go. Okay. All right, Barbie, I'm trusting you here. Directional buttons or left analog stick to steer the horse in the direction of the Come on, run, run. I'm pressing the square button. Oh, oh my god. Yes! <laughs> Powerful. Or left analog stick to back the horse up and try again. I did it, Barbie. You don't need to keep repeating yourself. I, <laughs> I think this is going to be a short episode. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, yeah, so... It is so beautiful. Like, this is a kid's game, and it's made for young women, like, young girls. Like, it's fine. It's better than an app, I think. Like it's better than like a terrible app that's like charging you a thousand dollars a minute to play it. Look, there's a skunk over by that key. Hello. Great, we now have an apple. Are we friends? Press the triangle button to get off the horse. Great.
Great job. We've got the key. Now we can unlock the gate and continue onwards. Let's get the apple. Oh. Remember, as long as you've collected some apples, you'll be able to feed some animals by pressing the X button to okay. drop the apple. Let's get off. Let's get off. Animals nearby. Can I feed you the horse? You want an apple? Hey, you want an apple? Skunk, you want an apple? <laughs> Do you like that? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Wait, did we die? We fucking die! <laughs> Oh boy, this... Oh, we were floating there for a second. This emulation may not be perfect. Come on. Come on. Man, I wish we had this real game. Well, this teaches me a lesson that moving forward, we're going to only play the real, the real games. Because... Emulation cannot, emulation cannot be trusted, obviously. Leave the skunk alone. Cool. Cool. Get off. Get off the horse, Barbie. Barbie, get off the frickin'. Come on. Open it up. Let's go. I mean, I think my horse's name is Buttercup, I'm pretty sure. Giddy up, Giddy up Buttercup. Oh, there's no- there okay. This looks like a- like, I don't know, I guess I haven't looked at a PS2 game in a while, but this, this looks really bad. Hidden path, Barbie. You thought you could trick me. Giddy up. Oh my god, come on. I bet you there's a foal over there or something. <laughs> How did you even get up here, little horse? Like, I kind of need to, I need to, like, get this game in reality just to see, like, how broken it is in reality versus the emulated version. Uh, I'll be back for you, horse. Don't worry. I want to get the clothes. <laughs> Don't fall, Bobby. Don't fall. Let's open that up. Open it up, yes. What? No clothes? It's just garbage? Great. <laughs> I think this is gonna be a short episode. I, I apologize. I know it's not- can't be super fun to hear the crackly audio. And this is running so poorly. <laughs> The foal go off the cliff. Come with me, foal, if you want to live. God damn it, foal. You look gangly. 
this is the speedrun strat. First, you gotta grab the foal. That foal. Here you go. We should get this foal to a safe point. Thank you, Fugitive. I'm glad you appreciate true art. There is, there was a part where you have to clean your horse, <laughs> and it explicitly says horse clean, 100%, and I was dying. Yeah, the down pitching is very funny. The thing is, I'm looking at the, like, jeep, come on, full, what the actual, get out of the way, big horse, you're bullying the small horse. I have my, like, resource monitor up right now, and it's like, we're not really using that much CPU or anything else, I just, I just don't know. Oh, get off, get off, get off. Let's look at the model here. I just realized she has like an ombre in her hair. Come here. Come here, foal. Here you go. We should get this foal to a safe point. That's where that's the plan, Barbie. This is fun. All right, put the foal in the thing. <laughs> it just dies. It just lays down and dies. Hi, Teresa. I found the foal on the trail. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty much Metal Gear. Like, when you think about it. Okay, I got that. Can we pick it up? Can we pick up the carrot as Barbie? Yes, we can. Amazing. <laughs> you know, they were like, we've got the Barbie walk down. We can do horses. We're the most complex animal in the world. Danimate. Barbie's walk's fine. <laughs> They've proven they can do it. Kind of walks a little bit like a bird. Come on. Arthur. Giddy up. You know, okay, there is probably a chance. Someone worked for Rockstar Leeds. So that means that there is a chance that the someone who worked on this game also worked on Red Dead. They may have used their expertise to from the Barbie Horse Adventure games to create an amazing horse sim. Jump! Yes! This foal is scared of the nearby skunk. And me too. We need to feed the skunk an apple so it'll ignore us. Our horse is getting really dirty. We better wash her off. We can wash our horse at the stables or in some lakes and rivers. Good job. I mean, that's from Red Dead. That's in Red Dead. You could watch ours. Now we can lead the nervous foal to the safe point. Come on, dude. Hello. Here you go. We should get this foal to a safe point. Let's go, foal. <laughs> the foal's leg is just like broken. The full in the carrier. Hello, Teresa. Hi, Teresa. I found the full on the trail. Oops. Drop my phone. Um, I'd really like to, like to not reset this, so let's not let's not mess with the skunk. Yeah, it's it's a lot. Open. Come on, Barbie. Make it happen. <laughs> you know, the horse's legs don't clip that much, so that's kind of cool. Oh, 
let's go ahead and get this. Is this a, like, dry riverbed? Is that what this is? So the horse is kind of like BB, and Barbie's kind of like Sam Porter Bridges, is what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 crap, we missed it. Oh, well. The timer started. Let's find all the other clocks in the area. Okay. Go, Barbie, go. Come on, Barbie. Yes! Need two more. Fuck, yeah! We beat the clock challenge and won a new ribbon. So excited. Giddy up! You're getting dusty, girl. We better clean you up. <laughs> I mean, that's also in Red Dead. This game is just fucking Red Dead. Here, come here, full. Stop. That's an easy one. Oh wow, my horse is very dusty. This foal is hungry. We need to find a sugar lump to feed her what? if we want her to follow Oh us. my god, you're very demanding. Let's look for a sugar lump. Where could one be? That's a sugar lump! Mmm! I'm sure for the budget that they had, they probably had a very. This was probably a work of love. This is a little bit more than I actually expected from the game. Like, there's levels and a store and a plot. Like that's kind of positive. Hi, Teresa. It's Barbie. There's a foal waiting to be picked up at a safe point. <laughs> Later, full. There's no, like, road here, Barbie. Yeah, let's get- let's finish- I want to at least finish this level and see the, uh... We can- I can emulate something else. We don't actually have to do this. We could play another- an older game. This leads up into the mountain. Ooh. Mountains. Look up on that high cliff. There's one of the missing poles. <gasps> Maybe we can climb up that ladder to rescue it. Like the platforming there across we'll section. Move toward the ladder, and when we get to the right spot, we'll start climbing. Move the left analog stick forward to climb up the ladder. Okay, we're almost at the top. Oh, come on, Barbie. We gotta save this full. It's like God of War up in here. How are we gonna get the full down, Barney? Barbie, blue. Oh, it's just there was a checkoff point. I. Close by. How did the full get up here? Answer me that, Barbie. There's the full. We Yo. Go, girl. Let's walk the foal to a safe point. You know, this could be worse. I think I'm turning, I'm coming all the way back around on this from being like, this game's terrible to actually, they put a little bit of work into it. That full animation, though, I don't know if I like it. I found the last missing pole on this trail. 
What's up? Oh damn it, I was funny to just make her run off the edge. Oof. Oofa doofa. How long until this gets remastered? Probably like, you know, next year. Probably like a PlayStation 5 exclusive. Alright. Let's go, horsey. I'm sorry, Buttercup. I care. Sorry, Barbie, you're not getting new clothes or whatever. Oh my god, Barbie, run. What a beautiful waterfall indeed. You know, and it does have the, the actual camera. Oh, come on. Oh god. Oh, come on, horsey. Ugh. We better lead her across. I don't want to lead her across. This is artistic. Come on, horse. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. Freaking horse torn to the wall. <gasps> Is there a boss fight? Oh, it's a big horse. Look, it's the first of the missing horses. We need to get close to try and lasso it. This is Breath of the Wild. Oh my god. When we're close enough to the horse we are trying to lasso, a meter will come up on the right of the screen. When it fills to the top and flashes, press the X button to use the lasso and rescue the Get it. The horse. Yes. Come with Let's me, horsey. Catch the horse. Oh. We need to be close to the horse to use the lasso. Press I, the X button to I, I did. the lasso. I did. Come on. Great job. We've rescued one of the horses. <laughs> Okay. Hi, Christy. I've just rescued a horse. Can you come pick it up and take it back to the riding school? These are not well-trained horses. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just like, that's the end of the level. Do you want to stay? Then do it. Yeah, of course I want to save my game. God. Fucking Barbie. It's like, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and clear this out. And we can look for maybe another game to fill in the next 30 minutes or so. Come on, Silver Valley Stables, let's roll. Okay, let's clean our horse off. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, N64 doesn't really, really run super well. What about a Game Boy Color game? Okay, here we go. Yes. Good shit. Cleaned up, little horsey. <laughs> I didn't. Why do we have to move so quickly? This is an art. Great job. 
job. The horse is getting cleaner. <laughs> Just make sure her face is super clean. Clean, 100 percent clean. <laughs> Amount of horse clean you percent the world. Okay, well, and I think that's all we really need to know about. I feel like we've encapsulated the Barbie horse and wild horse adventure experience. Um, let's go ahead and I will shut this down and find something else to play for a minute. Um hmm. hmm. Go ahead and open up Retro Arch. We've got pretty much all these set up correctly. Oh. <laughs> You're a brave old flag. Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah, what I'm doing is I'm just making sure the game is actually going to be able to be recognized. Yep, it's recognizing our charge, so that's good. I should put these all in like a big like thing, like a big like, like a wheel and like a spinning wheel. Like if I like pick something random to play. Hmm. Let's check out Police Knots. I wanted to play that game for a long time. Hopefully it'll work. Alright, if we go here, load content, downloads. Mm hmm Oh no. Oops. All right, so please not. Uh, when did you come up, please not? Where's my phone? Oh, I dropped it. That's what I did with it. I think this is famous for being a Metal Gear Solid game, or a game by Hideo Kojima. I think Meryl's in this? It was released in 1994, published by Konami. I think there's Metal Gears in this game. Hell yeah, dude. Oops. Yeah, I just thank you, Fugitive. I just updated it. Um, so I think this game has voice acting. Pretty sure. Hopefully that'll boot. Come on, boot. Oh, it's O. Memory card one. Thank you for your patience. And now our feature presentation. Enjoy the show. I should have taken the equal. I don't know what this like.
I'm not going to do the widescreen patch. The year was 2010. Mankind had completed its first space colony beyond coast. We finally outgrew our cradle. That's beyond coast, apparently. A group of police officers trained as astronauts were charged with providing security. For those expected to emigrate to the colony in 2013. Oh, you were so hopeful, Kojima. From Scotland Yard, Gates Becker. From Tokyo Metropolitan Police, Joseph Sadogai uh, from NYPD, American New York City, Salvatore Toscani, and from LAPD, Ed Brown and me. The five of us, the world's elite, the world's elite police cops, became astronauts of the police authority. Call the police. <laughs> what the fuck? Someone sabotaged it. <gasps> oh no. Would someone do that? Why would they sabotage it? Not the police, not, not the space cops. Twenty five years later, okay. Presents God. This is a metal. This is a Kojima game because the opening is forty-five minutes freaking long. And this is the slow beef patch that I'm playing, I believe. What the actual fuck? Um, Barbie, Barbie wasn't running super great. I can't tell if it's the game or the emulator, so I wanted to put something else on for a minute. Oh, this is the music for Metal Gear. This is at the beginning of Metal Gear, isn't it? The do, 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 do. Solid Snake! The Solid Snake! Yeah, I know, I do need to get a new PC. Yo, this is fucking sick! So wait, did he get frozen or something? I'm a little confused, but... Amazing. The music is good too. Oh, me and my my space cops. Prologue home. This really isn't that much different from uh from Dust Stranding, if you really get down to brass tacks about it. Okay, do we press the button? No? Okay. We'll just keep watching. <laughs> oh. 
Jonathan, the name's Jonathan Ingram. 30 years old. I was one of Beyond, Beyond Police Nuts. Of course. It feels like practically yesterday. Thanks to the EMP's accident. They're vivid memories. EMPS, maybe? My wife, friend's career. All gone. The accident ruined my life. Now I'm a private eye come negotiator in this wonderful place we called Old LA. I negotiate with child kidnappers and traffickers. Um, in in, in reading, it's been changed to try to criminals. It's dangerous work. But for a guy at the end of his rope like me, scum like that are the only thing putting food on my table. Guess it'd be still being out there as a police snot. They call me police snot man because I was the police snot. Okay, uh, I've never actually seen this game. I've been trying to like stay kind of pure, so got some time till that client gets here. This is full of all sorts of mementos. There's some newspaper clippings and photos on the wall. A couple of old other photos on my desk. They keep the blanks in my memory filled. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh, wait. I, X is... X is... No. Um... Oh. Hmm. Wait. Okay. Number card one, I guess. Oh. Uh, no, no. Crap. X is no. Um. Oh, wait. Oh, it's the D pad. That's why I'm a freaking fool. Okay, that makes sense, because I was trying to use the sticks. Stop using X. Oh, look. There we go. This is me and Lorraine on our wedding day. I was still a cop here in LA. Lorraine dropped out of UCLA after we got engaged. Lorraine. Lorraine. <laughs> no, that was a long time ago. She moved to beyond and remarried me after my accident. What was your accident? Does Nisei have Japanese, half American? There was something kind of mysterious about her. Well, well, well. Okay. We done? I, I remember discovering a rental tux didn't fit right before the ceremony. I originally had a black tuxedo. Lorraine was kind of like an angel in her dress. I still wear my wedding ring. August 24th, 2009. Oh, one day I'll never forget. Lorraine had this friend at a flower shop in her boutique. Her bouquet. But little... In those days, my life were all around my job and Lorraine. Okay, I think we got all the text that we need. Uh, I'm sure this is another Lorraine thing. This photo is me, Lorraine, at Lucas World. Fuck yeah, Lucas World. I was fresh out of the, I was a fresh cop out of the academy. Look at us. Young and in love. Lorraine was a student. She, would, she was so naive, the things she'd do sometimes. Yay. Let's look at our gun. Look. This is my baby, a Beretta 92F. I've used one since I was a cop. She's a bona fide recoil gun equipped with a laser sight. I use special 10 round magazines with armor piercing bullets. I don't carry her so I can go around shooting everything in sight. She's strictly for protection. Hi, Twitchy McTwitcher, son. Look, these are mo Muslims, the only cigarettes in the world that still give off secondary smoke. I don't like the pure bent cigarettes you get today. The these are mixed cigarettes, part conventional, part bent. Bent cigarettes are cigarettes that don't produce any secondary smoke when you light simply by breaking off the tip, off the end. Oh my god, there's so much text. What's beer? It's a beer can, it's empty. These used to deliver for cans before, but these are the only ones that are made from biodegradable plastic. Okay. Well, that ended up being. Do I smoke? Yes, I do. This is an ashtray I stumble across at an antique store. It wasn't easy finding one of these. You don't need an ashtray for bent cigarettes, after all. The butts are starting to overflow. I guess I should empty it. Buddy, your life is something else. What does this say? 
speak with information on a client. I've been asked to look for their four-year-old son. You don't see many ransom kidnappings nowadays. It's safer for the kidnappers to at least sell the victim's organs to organ buyers, and they're guaranteed to see a return that way, too. I've got a bad feeling about this one. It's a video phone with a built-in printer, though I've disabled the video from my end. Most of my cases come in over the phone. Clients don't particularly like meeting up in person. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay, phone. There's are some Venetian lines I found in an antique store. I don't like the adjustable glass you get today. I put them blah, blah, blah. Open. I'm probably better leaving them closed in your God knows that there are plenty of guys who love to take a shot at me. All right, dude, your life. These cabinets are filled with information on past cases and clients. Open. I'm sick of looking at papers. I don't look at the stuff on the wall. Okay. This is the newspaper about this is a newspaper article about my accident that occurred during the EMPS spacewalk outside beyond. Okay. This picture taken during the test walk out of the Yuri model EMPS. It was a prototype police suit for use outside the colony of the sister NASA's MMMU. The image was taken from a camera aboard a spa a nearby space shuttle. This was me and Yuri as we released from the hangar. It was released from the hangar. Blah. Is that me? I'll read some of the article. A malfunction occurred in the Vermeer thrusters of the Yuri EMPS prototype during a test spacewalk of the device yesterday. The Yuri had been scheduled to be used by the police not outside the colony. The EMPS has since vanished without a trait. Trace, blah. The Yuri is equipped with a survival ball, but since an SOS signal can't be isolated, the chance of a test pilot, Jonathan Ingram, being found alive are thought to be slim. Uh, the official test has been scheduled for tomorrow. I remember what Salvatore said. Whatever you do, don't screw up this up, Johnny boy. Everyone back home is going to be watching. There were still a lot of people opposed space Salem back then. It all happened so fast before I knew it, the four of them were gone. Everything's after that's a blur. Next time I opened my eyes, I was lying on a hospital bed. You were in old LA? The headline reads EMPS prototype missed malfunctions, police Ingram missing. Alright, um. Go outside there. Da, 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 da. Oh, we have to look at each one individually? Oh, God. Okay. Basic search of the world's first space outer space colony beyond coast underwent se underway for several years near Lagranian Point L5 was completed yesterday. The first wave of immigration will be centered around scientists and engineers. We'll spend 14 months performing checks and gathering data. Immigration is scheduled to be open to the general public in three years' time. Beyond's position is shown in the diagram on the left. Okay, it's the red dot. Let's go ahead and find the picture. That seemed like what they wanted us to be looking at. All right. Well, you're a cool cop. You got an award from the mayor. Okay. First landed on the moon, on Mars. You swear to God, when I survived an EMPS ball, sorry, all three years written over 26 years after the one with the Mars landing. 25 years of wandering, miracle recovery, please not astronaut. 25 year lost voyage, please not Ingram, miraculous return. I have had cosmophobia ever since I just can't go back there anymore. I mean, fair, dude. You were in fucking space for 25 years. Wait, how do you. What did he eat? I should check the machine. Is there a call from someone in there? Whoa. Sorry. Wrong number. Okay. Barbie's dream horse, unfortunately, wasn't working super great. So, uh, we switched it up for police knots. Hello, Mr. Green, this is the Department of Water and Power. This is your final notice regarding your water bill. <laughs> if you gave me something I could actually drink. No, no, no. Oh my god, come on. John, where have you been? I feel like crowd too, you know. That's why I'm in a bar. Call me. Yeah, yeah. Maybe next time. When's someone gonna call with an actual case? There's a lot of these things. You piece of shit detective, remember me, you little punk?
I got news for you. This ain't over. Watch your back. <laughs> that wasn't very nice. When's someone going to call the actual case? I'm glad that you also agree with me, Twitchy McTwitchers, and this is Barbie Dream Horse Adventure. Hi, Tom Olson. We talked before. Listen, I'm not going to be needing your service after all. <laughs> I'm sorry, Merswine. I, 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 I don't know what to say except for this is Barbie Horse Adventure. Oh, God. What is this game called again? Police Knots. Police Knots. Walkthrough. <laughs> Can't get past the opening. The, sign, the signboard, the signboard. It's got an X-ray legs. God damn it. Make it part of the narrative, yeah. Oh my god. Oh hey Tofu. Thank you for subscribing. What have I not seen? Miniature of the Beyond, Ed made it for me. Oh, you're fine. Ed's in a couple pictures on the wall. Oh my god. Ed, where the fuck are you? The photo was taken to create the selection of police knots. Five officers out of all the world's police organizations were chosen and trained. We were called the original cops after the Mercury program's original seven. We're wearing ejection escape suits here. These are obsolete now. Back then, everyone thought the orange colored, co orange -colored suits were so cool. Okay, I have to, like, do something. That's Salvatore Scani. He came from NYPD. Apparently, he resigned from Beyond Coast Police off... Poli he resigned from Beyond Coast Police over ten years or so ago. That's Gates Becker. He came from Scotland Yard in the UK. I heard he's risen prison pretty high up through the ranks of Beyond Coast Police. That's Joseph Sadakai Tokugawa. He came from the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department in Japan. He's now the head of the Tokugawa Group. Absolutely static with Lorraine cheers against me going to space. That's when then I went when I went to Mars, that was when we started to drift apart. Your partner? Yes. Edo Brown. Tofu I, I think it's a good thing you went to the party. Thanks for stopping by. That's it. Yeah, that's challenging. I feel like even when I go to work parties where I know people, I always get, like, super anxious. He was chosen L LAPD right along with me. Oh, I gotta move my mouse. Nope, that's the game mouse. Alright, I feel like that's what I needed to do. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh, this is a picture of me when I was... Is this fucking... What is the... What is the movie? Uh, with... Is it Danny Glover and... Uh, Mel Gibson. Fuck, what is that movie called? Danny Glover, Mel Gibson, Cops. Rush Hour? Lethal Weapon. Lethal Weapon, that's what I'm thinking of. Lethal Weapon. That's what this kind of looks like, right? Yeah, with the hair? Definitely. A replica of my badge when they were sitting on the desk. Blah, blah, blah. I remember it was in narcotics at the time. I was reckless with a shorty short fuse. I would have had a Beretta with me here, too. Okay. Me and Ed have been good friends in the academy. We were a well-known team in narcotics. The award is a product of our work together. Ed was in the bomb squad before he joined narcotics. There was a lot of terrorist activity back then. He looks a good deal younger here compared to the police knots photo. We stay close to the police knots, too. I haven't heard of him since my accident. Maybe I'll give Ed another call if my next case turns out well. My life felt so complete. Look at me. Full of confidence. I'm like a totally different person. Okay. I feel like this has got to be it. Oh my god, finally. Can I... Yes, open your eyes. Well, 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 who's this? A client actually showing up on time? Interesting. 
In she walked. Legs going on for a mile. Hello, Jonathan. Oh, is this your ex-wife? Lorraine. She kind of has, like, that face of the Jesus, um, the restored Jesus. Just doesn't look as good as his. Lorraine Hojo. Surprise? It's been, what, 28 years? What are you doing here? Look at you. You haven't changed a bit. I can probably pass your mother now. But why? Why now? I don't expect you to forgive me. I know I've got a lot of nerve coming here. I mean, I was in space in a floating capsule. But you're the only one who can help me. What's wrong? When things happen... To my husband. <sighs> I see. Alright. Well, come on in. Am I taking back control? To be honest, I'd rather not. You wouldn't recognize me. I just wouldn't feel comfortable. Fair enough, Lorraine. Or should it be me, Em? At any rate, you'll need to fill me in. Oh, okay. I guess we're gonna look at our hands. Jonathan, don't look at me like I'm... Don't look at me like that. I'm 55 now. Please don't look at me that way. I want you to remember me the way I was when we were together. Alright, well, let's talk. Hey, Lorraine. Ask about her request. Why don't we get to it, then? So, something happened to your husband? Exactly three weeks ago, my husband, Kenzo Hojo, left for work and simply never came home. I've been to his computer company and the police, but no one will help me. Now you're trying home? I have a real bad feeling about the whole thing. About the whole thing, though. Maybe you went into hiding. Oh, come on. People just don't disappear on a space colony. It's impossible to stay hidden there. Had he received any threats? Not that I know of. Not that I know, Bill. It's as if he just vanished into thin air. It doesn't fit the profile of a ransom kidnapping. Ask about... Uh, beyond. What's Beyond like these days? Beyond's different, a lot of different. You wouldn't recognize it either. Everything's settled down there. It's pretty much like any ordinary city. Ask about Kenzo Hojo. So, this Hojo guy, what's he like? Well, Kenzo is also a Nisei. He works as a pharmaceutical engineer for Takagawa Pharmaceuticals. Oh, wow. oh fuck! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Looks like a nice enough looks like a nice enough guy. And you look happy. Yeah. I am. Was anyway. I'll let you hang on to that. Yeah. A little early for that, isn't it? Like it's really hard to do voices when you're sick. Um, ask about Hodo's behavior. You noticed anything unusual about your husband before he disappeared? I'll all the years I knew him, he'd been turned he'd been your typical company employee. He'd get up, leave for work, then come walking through the door at the end of the day. Same schedule, day in, day out. Quite a change for my hour quite a change for my hours. But the past few months he'd become more unpredictable, you might say. You can't really draw anything co anything concrete from that. You think you you'd think he'd become in you'd think he'd become involved in something though? That's my gut feeling, yeah. If there were indications of some sort of trouble beforehand, the chances of it being a ransom kidnapping are pretty slim. Thank you, uh, actual Superboy, for scaring the shit out of me. How'd you guys meet? I moved to be on right after you went missing. After how much you hated it? I... I just wanted to be closer to you. 
closer to you any way I could. I met Kenzo at the Nihonjin Matsuri, run by the Takagawa. Run by Takagawa. Nihonjin Matsuri. It's a festival for Japanese people and beyond. So, so why were you there? I have Japanese blood too, remember? Oh, that's the wrong voice. Oh. The conglomerate's reach doesn't stop at beyond. They essentially run space, and Joseph Sadagwe Takagawa runs the group, ruining the mood. He's just as well known on home as he is out there. If if Hojo's a Takagawa employee, I suppose we can't rule out he was kidnapped. You could get good money out of that, I'd imagine. No one on Beyond would even think of messing with Takagawa. They're too afraid of the retaliation. It wouldn't be worth it. All right, well, why don't I tell you what's been going on with me? I've been working as a private investigator the past few years. And you've probably guessed finding work can be a bit of a struggle, but I'm managing. I see. That's good to hear. Talk about old LA. Not a whole lot changed since. Me and you lived here. Now LA is a separate place just up north. We get the odd bit of snow like today as well. Some real crazy weather. Yeah, I know. Snow in LA? The metro shut down once the ghetto was completely shook over. And I realize that this takes place in space. Come on out. Big difference from Beyond's growth. Time's been changed, and this place got left behind. Oh, you're all good. On home, kidnappings are becoming almost as frequent as rapes and robberies. Trafficking people is more profitable than drugs or prostitution now. That's terrible. It's surprising to hear about a case like yours these days. So you'll help me? I need to hear more about the situation first. Ask about clues. Lorraine. Lorraine, I'm gonna need more than just your instincts for this. Is there anything you'd consider clues? I have a few things Kenzo gave me. Some drug capsules and a piece of leaf. Of a leaf? Lorraine, what the fuck? I don't know what they mean, but they must be important. Capsules and a leaf? Right. He said to me, If anything happens to me, give these to the police or someone you trust. That's quite a statement. See? And then he just disappears? Alright, well, give me the capsules. I guess we'll start with the capsules. Is that them? Space capsules. Here they are. What are they for? I have no idea. I wonder if they're made by Takagawa Pharmaceuticals. Will you hang on to them for me? Sure. Leaf. In the leaf? In the leaf? Is that it there? Cool. <laughs> Here it is. My cool leaf! I've never seen a leaf like it. Why is it cut in half like this? It was like that when I got it. Can I give it to you to hold on to? No, I don't want your trash. Don't hand me your freaking leaves. I'm done with them. Uh, show... What do you know about this leaf? To be honest with you, I don't see how... To be honest with you, I don't see how something like this could be important. But if he went out of his way to give it to you, I suppose there must be something to it. I wonder what kind of plant it's from. You'll be able to get an analysis done, right? Any idea what these could be for? They look like ordinary medical capsules you'd find in any pharmacy. Can you get an analysis performed? Capsules on a leaf. I'll have to get an expert for these. Do you know someone? You'd need to be sure they're not connected to Takagawa. This is home. That won't be a problem. Are we done? I'm just gonna keep looking at you. Is that an L's? They cost a fortune here. Yeah, but this one's a little old. They're all the range on home, too. L's change the dynamic back every year while producing the millennial numbers, then destroys all the originals. That's why they're so expensive. Is that it? Is that? Well, it's a nice coast you got. Yeah, I guess. If you can afford it, why not, right? You're best not wandering around the area just like that. Hey, Lorraine, I talk about work. It's not even that dangerous here. It's even more dangerous here now than it was when I was a cop. 
Just be careful, okay? We got. Well, no, that's not an option. Uh, I guess we'll like what you're feeling. You have any kids, Lauren? I have a daughter. Her name's Karen. Where does your daughter live? Karen is a news anchor on Beyond. A news anchor, huh? She's pretty famous there. I think I... Uh, I guess... Forgive me, Jonathan. I couldn't have survived on my own. I was lonely. I wanted someone to be there. That's when Kenzo came along. It took advantage of the space dwelling boom more than anyone. They're essentially the powers. Da, da, da. Is there a second wave of Japan bashing going on there? No, it's just the opposite. Thanks to God, they call it astonishing, but there's something else. But everything else is another story. Ask about. Alright, well, let's just take a look here and see if we can figure out what we need to actually do. Okay. Walk through. Prologue. Home. Oh my god, there's so much. You're basically here to have question her, going through all the options. Going through them a few times to get all the information. We just have to get, keep asking her about stuff? He had, he had been talking about something lately, actually. It turns out to I was involved that couldn't complicate things. Ask about... Please, you only got da 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 Family. It's just the three of us. My husband, my daughter, and me. A loving husband and successful daughter must be nice. Jonathan. She's She'll be 27 soon, though she's still single. Hard to believe you have a 26-year-old daughter. I am 55 now, remember? Okay, well, we got that one. Uh, Beyond will be celebrating its 30th anniversary this year. Things have gone slowly downhill over the years, though. You'll always looking over your shoulder whenever you go now, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I read you. It's always been that way in the city. And like I was saying, Tokugawa's influence is everywhere. You could practically call the entire colony one big business. I mean, everyone will tell you Beyond Coast policy is a major issue today. While the world's politicians are publicly claiming that Beyond as it exists today poses both economic and security risks to outer space, at the same time they're clearly interested in closing up to Tokugawa for obvious reasons. You become frightened and angry that wasn't like him. Never seen a breakdown like that before. So you're, so you're saying someone had been targeting him for some reason? He never told me what was going on, whatever it was. I'd say he was trying to tell you something with the capsules and the leaf. Okay. Alright, well, we did that one already. Is there anything else? There's one other thing. It's the word Plato. He watched a bunch of YouTubers. They all talked about philosophy. Got me. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Plato. Plato. Could he have said Pluto? To be honest, I'm not sure anymore. We still haven't been to Pluto, though. Well, thanks for bringing me up to speed. There's certainly more to this than meets the eye. So help me, right, Jonathan? I'll pay you whatever you want. Dollars or yen. Just let me know. Sure. I can't give you an answer today, Lorraine, but I will consider it. Don't tell me you're not going to help me. I didn't say that. I just need some time to think. I'm still in shock. Sure. Thanks. I'll hang on to these in the meantime. Well, I'll be in touch. Why the shadow looks weird? I'll be staying at the New Rose, New the Hotel New Rose in Beverly Hills until the weekend. Call me anytime. 
Jonathan. Again, I don't expect you to forgive me. I didn't wait for you. I'm sorry. I was so happy when I heard you've been rescued. If only they'd found you a little sooner, things would have been different. I just wanted you to know that. How'd you get here, by the way? We're in a car at the hotel. This old classic. See. Peace. Well, it was nice seeing you again. Bye. Later. <laughs> Amazing. Well, my old lady came around. I started smoking Lorraine. my cigarettes. Lorraine, I missed you too. Like you wouldn't believe. Like you wouldn't believe. Yet my voice is all mixed up. She's gonna be like shot or robbed or something. Or the car's gonna explode. Yeah, car bomb. God. <gasps> fuck, fuck, man. Oh, wait. I think there's like a gun. Where'd he go? Oh, God. He's got a gun. Oh, come on. Is he down? Did I win? I know I'm hitting you. <laughs> Amazing. He's right there. I see his feeties. I shot him, like, quite a bit. This game could just be an anime. Piant Monte Ravioli Co. He ran down the alley. I've got you now. That's the restaurant's shrine. It's purposely low-key. This is the last place you want to take your kids. It comes off as some innocent little bistro, but their real, their real business is selling your child porn. Okay. It's the club sign. It's decked out in neon. This is a strip club for women. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Filled with so-called women who've undergone complete sex changes. I was inside one for a case once. They're called... Okay. We're gonna go this way. I don't know what I expected. No, I think I've heard of that before. I was just like, <laughs> just didn't expect it still that early. So much for following his footprints. The snow obviously didn't stick here. What is it? Blood? There's some kind of liquid on the ground. Looks like milk. No. White blood. 
He's running artificial blood? It's a dumpster. There's just enough room for someone to hide behind it or moving in it. Someone's placed some garbage bags next to it. Maybe it's full. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formula. Okay, well, can I walk? This is made out of brown. This is made out of brick. As long as there's anywhere I can hide, there's a dumpster up ahead. Okay, well, can we? Oh, can we move? Advance. All right. Well. Hmm. Not going. Da, 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 da. Fuck. <laughs> Where is he? More blood. He must be around here somewhere. Damn it! I waste a lot of time back there. Oh, that sucks. Sorry. Come on, let's like get to business here. Come on. Oh, I need to look at the blood, duh. A mouse, maybe? <laughs> yes, sir. There he is. Got him. TV. How we reload? Okay, that's how we reload. Come on. D dude, come on. I don't get it. I've definitely hit him. This guy even human? You should probably keep moving. He killed your wife, buddy. I'll kill you in blood. <laughs> Holy shit, this game's amazing. <laughs> oh, there's something else on the ground. What does it say? It's writing. It's different from the graffiti on that dumpster. I'll kill you. Bastard, this is some kind of game to you? Yo, look up. The concrete wall, I don't see where you get ahead. There's no need to hurry, I should check around a little more. He left a message for me. He he should still be around here, though. It's a dead end up here. There's no need to hurry. Oh, come on. Hey, Dr. Chung. Thanks for stopping by. Even if you used the box of all, you still wouldn't be able to get anywhere. Eh, come on. You're gonna kill me, huh? So what's taking you so long? Show yourself, asshole. Is he above you? I bet you he's above you. Probably some robot dude. Ooh. Got some milky vex blood. Fuck you.
purple carpet. It is so anime. Fuck. How much you want to bet you're going to get with me, your dead wife's daughter? All right, what time is it? How am I going for? I'm going to record one. File saved. Atham, does the, is there a good stopping point anytime soon? Yeah, he does. I get major Riggs vibes. Oh, the game is paused. It stopped snowing. One last chance to look at the stars together. Can love bloom on in the city when it stops snowing? I don't fucking remember. I only watched an LP in each episode. It was a lot longer than you've been going. <laughs> the watch you still wear? Of course. I got my cigarette in my mouth. Don't worry. You know I am with time. You kept it after all this time. Jonathan, please. Karen's sick. You have to help her. She needs... Lorraine? You knew her? She was... An old friend. Poor thing. She came from beyond, oh? Don't hold to the cat for the main character. She came back to me. I was a police not once, you know. <laughs> Are we going to beyond? American Space Line. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for choosing American Space Lines Flight 797 to be on a coast. We have completed our gravity turn and are proceeding as scheduled of the colony. As we are entering zero gravity, should you begin to feel sick, press the call button located by your window and one of the flight attendants can help you. Oh god, what is this fucking dude's name? I dislike him greatly. You okay? You don't look too good. I'm not a big fan of space. You have SAS? Interesting. SAS? This your first time? No, I had an accident out here a long time ago. I've had cosmophobia ever since. Sorry to hear that. I'm not a bad guy for sure. You should have asked the stewardess for some of that medicine. The call button is the red switch on the wall. Can you press it? It's right next to you. I'm good for now. Thanks. Conversation is the best way to take your mind off something. We should take advantage of the opportunity. Okay, dude. Tony Redwood. Tony Redwood! <laughs> Hi, Tony Redwood. Jonathan Ingram. Same here. Anime Tom Hiddleston. He's got a really pale complexion. Why is your skin that color? Because of my artificial blood. My red blood cells are actually white. <gasps> my blood. I use first generation artificial blood, which is less complex than third generation you see, kind you see on home. He looks awkward to talk to. Like a zombie or something. Doesn't even look like he's blinking. You mind if we talk? Ask about... Hey, I was a police knot. You don't see that photo much anymore. The police knots are from before I was born. Show a leaf. What kind of leaf is that? Show capsules. If those are for SES, I don't need any. Show Lorraine photo. This is the photo of me and Lorraine from the morning when we went to Lucas World. The one I had sitting at my desk back in my office. Never hurts to think ahead. Is that your wife? Uh, no. Oh, so she's your girlfriend. I'm sorry, who are they? I don't know them. Yeah, I wouldn't expect you to. Something about her reminds me of the woman from that other photo. I guess the ages are too far apart, though. Ask about artificial blood. What's the fucking deal with her blood, bro? 
What does having artificial blood do for somebody? Artificial blood is a higher oxygen transportation efficiency than normal blood, so it makes heavy blood loss less of a life-threatening condition. The body's functions aren't negatively affected in areas of low oxygen density either. Yeah, that's perfect for people working in space. Ask about this background. But your skin color, it's really that like that because of the artificial blood all the time? It's always like this, yes. Are you from beyond? Yeah, I was born and raised there. I had a family matter to attend to on home. And yourself, are you a terrestrial? Not exactly. I used to be an amphibian. You know, going back and forth between home and beyond. Amphibian? You were one of the amphibians? It was a long time ago, back when we were called astronauts. First generation artificial blood. Are you military? Something like that. Yes, I am a frozener after all. What is a frozener? What do you mean by frozener? Shit. Uh, I missed the beginning of that. The egg is later transferred to a surrogate mother for gestation and delivery. Oh yeah, I've heard a little bit about them. There's still a severe shortage of manpower and space development. You sound like I'm boring you. All Froseners have an identification code like this tagged into our foreheads, surprising as it might seem. Ask about Frozener. There's a great number of Froseners on Beyond. There's no discrimination against us on Beyond like there is on Home. If anything, we're considered superior. All right. Uh, background. It might not make much sense to Rushfield, but Beyond is home to me. To be honest, though, I guess Froseners don't really have a home. Ask about his job. You must be a pretty busy guy. My job isn't that involving. I feel like you're going to try to fucking murder me. Beyond is a very nice place. It has 1G artificial gravity and its own plant life. Terrestrials enjoy it a lot there, too. If you want detailed information, you should talk to the stewardess. So why hasn't it been adopted for widespread use? This is blood, by the way. A normal person's kidneys and lungs won't be able to process this type of artificial blood. You need to make slight improvements to the kidney and lungs via gene therapy and also undergo regular hemodialysis. That requires incredible amounts of money and the proper facilities. Guess we can't really expect the public to be on it anytime soon then. Okay. When are we going to arrive? We've just passed the halfway point. Holy shit. You look at, I just can't seem to settle down. We've passed the halfway point. We still got a while to go. Oh my gosh. Okay, we did that part already. Beginning its 30th birthday soon. There are festivities going on all over beyond to mark the anniversary. Ask about beyond. Okay. Hey, is that date correct? Yeah. Photograph looks really old. They look Asian. Are they famous? Are they Japanese by any chance? Why do you ask? There are a lot of Japanese in space, and nearly all of them are connected to Tokugawa. Um, virtually anyone can go to space. No. Uh, let's just sit quietly and do nothing. What's the crest in your jacket? This, it's the police knots crest. Is that also related to the police knots? What do you fucking think? You must have a real thing for them. If you're bored, why don't you call the stewardess over? Oh yeah, you did say that, didn't you? There's a button to call the stewardess and a button for the TV there. Let's see what's on the tube. Amazing BBC News order. Cool. Oh, it's it's her. It's the girl. Konnichiwa. Welcome to News Order. Narc. The number of Narc users on Beyond has reached an all-time high. Response: Beyond Coast Police have formed a special has formed a special task force to investigate, possibly trafficking its murder. 
Norgas estimates that the narcotic made from black poppy opium combining the addictiveness of morphine with the hallucinogenic properties of LSD. In his space is most common illegal drug. The international space narc is used by nearly a third of all individuals involved in space elements. Hello, Ruby. No, it's in the bedroom. Don't take my toy guns! Damn you. So we learned about NARC. Yo. What up? BBC. Ritz? No, it's a program from Beyond. Beyond the Coast of Broadcasting. BBC. The different BBC. Gotcha. Press call button. I'll call this dude over. <laughs> Come on, man! How, how can I help you? Oh, not feeling too well, right? Might it be SAS? This pose. I'm sure it is. Best thing you can try to do is relax. Is to try to relax. Is there anything I can do for you? Your uniform is a nice color. It really brings out your curves, too. You may not know that we wear a rubber undershirt, too. Helps prevent the muscles from atrophying in zero gravity. How does that fucking... Whatever. Excuse me? Yes? You think you could give me something for my SAS? It must be really uncomfortable for you, but these things do take a while to take effect, you know? You might not need it in a little bit. Yeah, I know, but I'd still have to take something. I think you'll be alright. We'll be arriving beyond shortly. Here's a relax effects then. Relax effects? Who makes this? Tokugawa Pharmaceuticals. Tokugawa Pharmaceuticals, huh? Thanks. Here goes nothing. <laughs> you want to see my cool leaf? <laughs> Any idea what kind of leaf this is? Is that a press leaf from Earth? Don't forget they were taking plants and to be on the need to be inspected at spaceport. Sure. Flirt. Oh god. I went by it. Relax Effects is a good name. How does you and me having dinner under the stars sound after we land? I'm trying to do my job here, you know. Fair. Like, this cool photo? You recognize this photo? Yes, I've seen the textbooks. They were Beyond's original call for cops. Uh, arrival time. How much longer will it be until we arrive? We're not far from Beyond now. Ask about... Beyond Coast. Mankind's first space colony was completed in 2010. Since immigration was opened to the general public in 2013, the colony's population has grown to approximately 1 million people. Nearly one-third of the common population is comprised of second-generation inhabitants. The medical definition of space adaption syndrome, or SAS, is the symptom one experiences during adoption of zero gravity. It varies from person to person. She is turning Mel Gibson down. Uh, it varies from person to person, but over 50% of people develop symptoms within one two hours of entering weightlessness. Uh, in accordance with stricter plane space debris, the plane doesn't eject waste into space like before, so you'll be able to get the chance to see any space fireflies like Project Mercury's Astronaut Glenn or Milky Way's. Oh! You ever seen capsules like these before? Just took something for SDS to remember. Oh my god. I think we'll be arriving shortly. Well, okay, I'll take more. Oh god, no, I don't mean to flirt. Uh, oh god. Bonnie, I've noticed extremely quiet on board. The walls of the plane are reinforced with piezoelectric elements. They cancel the noise from the plane by bending in the opposite direction of the vibrations outside. That's why it was so quiet when we were leaving the atmosphere, was it? I don't care. Its environment isn't as alien as people expect. It's almost perfect recreation of Earth's. It has artificial clouds, various signs of preservation, I mean wind as well. Partial pressure, the oxygen and carbon dioxide in its environment or atmosphere are almost the same. All right, let her go. Can I assist you with anything else? Thanks for your time. You're welcome. Call me again if you need anything. All right, later, anime lady. We good, bruh? 
Maybe some sleep is what you need. Yeah, I think I finally settled down. I'll wake you if anything happens. I'm sure this guy's gonna fucking stab me in the neck or something. Bad end. Bad end. Ladies and gentlemen, we are arriving at the Beyond Coast spaceport shortly in the arrival area. We are required to undergo a space medical space medical exam before going through customs. We will now be issuing beverages and salt tablets. We help replenish Blythe with lost stream of flight. Thank you once again for choosing from all of us here for choosing American Space Airlines. For disturbing you again on a future flight. Beyond Coast. I feel like it's very tense for something that, like, is very routine. Rendezvous and docking laser, locked on. <laughs> Thanks, Atham. I think we're gonna wind this down too. I'm happy you're finally getting a chance to finish Red Dead Redemption 2. I think that's a good enough place to stop. We got a little bit of uh, this game in order. Um, let's go here to the big talking face. Cool. So we did play a little bit of Barbie Horse Adventure. Unfortunately, um, the PS2 emulation just wasn't holding up, so we had to stop at that. But we did get to play some Police Knots, which is super cool. Um, tomorrow on the Greetings From channel, we are playing uh, Riz Remnant. Remnant Ashes from Below, Above, something like that. It's the one we played last time on Pen Pals, so we're doing picking that up again. And then... Um, Sunday, we'll hopefully be able to finish Dead Space, but that's everything I've got for tonight. Thank you all so much for watching. I wonder who's online right now. Of course, my nose is like, hey, fucker. Um, it's it's a very bad name. Of course, also, uh, Twitch decided to change everything. How do you fucking raid? Well, I guess we're not reading tonight, so thanks everybody, hope you have a good one, and I will talk to you later.